Welcome back to another in the city. We've got enough to be happy about. It's now December, we are in the Christmas month and we're only six points off the top spot. So since we're back here on Saturday, let's keep those fingers crossed that we can take another three points and continue that fab home form. Coming up on today's show, Matt's joined Fabio at the House of Sport to give out all those presents that he and Pilks earned last week at the Toys R Us Trolley Dash. Plus, Kenwin and Joe Riles were out in the community doing their bit at the Tesco Food Bank. But first, we're over to Russell Slade, who looks ahead to facing Rotherham on Saturday. Overall, the progress has been has been good. Of course, you always want a little bit more. Felt on the road, for sure, we needed a little bit more, but we we got it back on Saturday. That was a, a big relief to get that first win for the football club. Hoping now that that will give us the momentum as well, because we've trained with a, a real confidence this week, a real character. We just need to make sure that we can transport that to the stadium on Saturday and and keep doing that to get that result at, at a team that are going to be pushing. They're a good team. That's a team that are going to be knocking on the door come the end of the season, in my opinion. They're very good going forward. The best team we played going forward and that's why they created chances against us and that's why we had to be so resilient. So that made it such, such a good win for us on Saturday. Russell prepares to go head to head with an old acquaintance, Steve Evans, on Saturday. The last time these two met were at last season's playoff finals. It takes some getting over when you get hurt like that, but um, as I say, that's gone now. You move on and I've moved on more importantly. And my job now is to, to ensure that we get um, three vital points. And it will be a tricky game because I know how his team's set up. Um, I know he's trying to change that to a certain extent with the recent signings that he's made. They will be relentless, they will not give up, they will keep going. They will make it ugly if they want to make it ugly. They will knock us out of fluency, won't let us play. If they can if they can do that, they will do that. So they will make it messy if they can. That's the way his teams play. He gets them set up and, and, and they will battle right to the end. So there's no room at all for complacency Saturday. And how important is this Christmas period for his side? Statistically, I think it, you'll find that into January, when you get into January, those positions at the top don't change that much. You might get one or two that, that get into that top six or one or two that drop out, but it, it won't change remarkably after, after January, that's for sure. So, I mean, our medium term goal, which I set many, many weeks ago, was to coming out of the Christmas period going into January with a, with a top six slot and that's what we're trying to achieve and whether we're able to do that Saturday which would be wonderful I don't know but certainly what we do know is if we can get a win on Saturday it's going to make us that little bit closer. This week we spoke to Joe Rawls who compared his form so far this season to that of the past. Yeah and no, I'm enjoying it yeah stronger in that this year so that's a good thing and uh, yeah I'm just sort of hoping to, to play as many games as I can this season and uh, try and help us you know climb, climb up the league. Joe spent last season on loan at Yeovil in the championship what benefits has that brought him? Championship legs they say and I think sort of I've benefited like that way like definitely physically physically but we never got pummeled you know we, we had some good games and won some games obviously during the season so obviously I enjoyed it as well so yeah it's good. He's been at the club for a number of years now so, how does Joe feel about the manager putting his faith in him this season? Been around the club now for a few years, so I like to think that I can be relied on. I speak to Gaffer quite regularly in that, and it's uh, it's nice that I'm sort of been, you know, like I say, been with the squad and getting the games that you know I want, and uh, it's good that we've we've been picking up the results and sort of climbing the league table as well. After Pilks' injury during the Watford game, Joe came on as a second half sub. So, what were his thoughts on being involved in the club's first away win? Brilliant result. I thought the boys dug in well. Rode our luck a little bit at times, but you know we, we, had, we had good chances as well. So it's a good good place to get our first away win of the season, and hopefully we'll go on and, and get a few more now. And looking ahead to Saturday, does he feel the team can keep up their good form at home? We obviously go into every game trying to win it. There's no there's no doubt about that. Obviously, it's not going to be an easy game. I know we've, we've had a good home record, but. You know, Rotherham are a tricky side and they're, they're going to work hard and they're going to come here and you know, it's going to be a, a, be a hard game, we know that, so hopefully we can uh, get the three points and like I say, it stands us in good stead going into, into a busy period.
Cardiff City House of Sport hosted the Christmas party for the Alec patients of Rookwood Hospital on Wednesday. Fabio and Matt joined in on the festive fun, where all the gifts kindly donated by Toys R Us during last week's Trolley Dash were given out. Disability and Health Manager Ashley Thomas told us more about the event. Fabio and Pilks did the Trolley Dash last week, so all the presents they collected on the Trolley Dash are going to be given out tonight uh, to the Artificial Limb and Amputee Clinic up in Rookwood Hospital. So we've got various sports going on, they can try uh, wheelchair basketball, football, uh, we've got a soft play area for the little ones. It's fantastic to see every smile here, uh, it's when I wake up every day and it's like uh, I have health and everything, I say oh, I thank God and I see this boy smile every day as well, so that's make it even stronger. A successful night for Cardiff City at the Football Supporters Federation Awards 2014, winning the award for away day of the year. Stewards Logistic Officer Chris Martin picked up the award on behalf of the club. Cardiff City are proud to be supporting the big rap again this year and we're asking all supporters to play their part by donating a present to the appeal. This Saturday's game is the perfect opportunity to drop off donations, which should be new and unwrapped, to the club shop and we'll keep collecting until the 13th of December. Cardiff City development side beat Bristol City 3-0 on Monday evening at Cardiff City Stadium. Busy week for the academy as they beat QPR 5-1 at home in the league. And we're in action again in the FAW Youth Cup, managing an impressive 7-0 victory over Camarden Town. They now face the new Saints in the quarterfinals. And it was a 3-2 win on the road for the Cardiff City women against Newcastle Emlyn on Sunday. Remember, you can catch up with all the news around the club by subscribing to our official YouTube channel. Time for something new now. Let's take a look at the facts and figures from the New York Stadium in Know Your Opponent. Rotherham arrive in the Welsh capital, sat just one place and one point outside the relegation zone, with 19 points garnered from the same amount of games thus far. In terms of form, the Millers are searching for their first win in seven matches, having lost three of their last five outings and netting just once in this poor run of form. Alex Ravel and Jordan Bowery lead the Millers' scoring charts with three apiece in league play. Ravel's came in consecutive matches in the month of October, whilst Bowery, a summer recruit from Aston Villa, netted the opener in last Saturday's one-all draw with Blackpool, a goal which broke a deadlock. 480 scoreless minutes for the team as a whole prior. Defensively, things fare better for Rotherham, with a middle of the pack 12 goals conceded from their nine away matches thus far, and a closer examination revealing that half of that figure came in just two defeats at the hands of Bolton and Reading. Head to head, it's been exactly 10 years and one month since the club's last met in a dramatic two all draw at the Miller's former home of Millmore. That match saw all four goals netted in just 10 second half minutes, with Joel Ledley and Paul Parry on the score sheet for City, who won the return fixture that year 2-0, thanks to a Peter Thorne double at Ninian Park. And you need to go back to August 98 for the last Rotherham win in Cardiff, a single goal from League Lover enough to seal all three points against a Bluebird side that day, which featured a certain Scott Young at centre-half. Joe and Kenwin were at Tesco where they took time out from their food bank duties for our little game using the contents of this basket. We filled the basket full of products from the store, five of which are the respective answers to some questions I'm going to ask you both, okay guys? So you've got to be, think quick, grab quickly, whoever grabs the product first wins. <laughs> just messed up my display, Kenwin. No, I was just... Wait for the questions. Right, so the first one. Gary Lineker has led this campaign for 20 years. Walkers, correct. One nil to Kenwin. Got to be quicker, Joe. It's easy. Got to be quicker. You ready? Yeah. David Beckham became unfavourable with this product because he shaved his head. Back? Wrong. Oh, what? Back in the basket, Kenwin, you can. Oh, Brill yeah. cream. Yes. Yeah. Two nil. Yeah. You just. Put it, put it in my <laughs> 
David Ginola proved he was definitely worth it for the face of this advert. Incorrect, Kenwin. Right. <laughs> yes. Definitely worth it. Definitely worth it for this advert. Oh, David Ginola. Oh, no. Oh, he's getting prompted. Where is it? There it is, there. Oh, yeah, that one. Yeah, well done, Joe. Yes. Absolutely so no won. help. No nine. help. Two words. At the time, mate. Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> so, in this advert, in the advert for this product, Eric Cantona gets asked, Are you a farmer? Correct, look, he knew straight away when it's Cronenberg, yeah, no, he knew no, straight no, no, away. No, 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 I'll just start the TV, that's it. <laughs> that's it, just yeah. the advert, good advert. So we're two apiece, and we're down to the final question. In this advert, Joe Hart has got to have his head sorted. Oh! It was closer to him, he had less, he had further. Shab. Oh. Shab. All right. So Joe wins, well done Joe, and lucky right. Ken win. Yeah. <laughs>